Dreams and a love of music. That's what makes Beck an amazing show. Beck, Mongolian Chop Squad is a series written and illustrated by Harold Sakuishi. It follows the story of a boy named Kyokai. I, I was thinking of, uh, I didn't see the name properly and I, I was remembering Harold Sakuishi. So I was like, yes, Kingdom, Audi is writing Kingdom, Kyokai. It's a show that follows the story of a boy called Koyuki. Koyuki is an 8th grade boy with no goals in life. He's just another nobody in this big wide world. He likes pop idol music and lives his life as a wanderer. He's very shy and perceives himself as boring and useless. One fine day, he meets a dog called Beck. He decides to follow this dog and find the owner. And that's when his life changes entirely due to this small event. I was made to hit in America. I was made to hit in America. Beck's master is Ryusuke Minami. Minami is a rock and roll guitarist who just returned from America. Minami inspires Koyuki and gives him purpose in life. And he feels an affinity towards rock and roll. Koyuki ends up becoming a member of Minami's Beck, which is his band with a few other people. Saku is a calm and easygoing guy. He supports his band emotionally and musically by destroying on the drums. Tyra, a crazy bassist who slap on the bass like a bass. His playing style and personality reminds us of Flea. <laughs> hey, a crazy bassist who slaps the bass like a bass. Chiba is the vocalist of the band. He is super energetic and really dedicated. But it isn't really that straightforward. The band doesn't just come together magically. Like they have a lot of issues and they work through it. They get into fights constantly, but they come back together for their love of music. This show gives us an amazing window into the world of music. Like we can feel these band members struggle in their daily lives. Giving up everything for music. Persevering through their early stages. Not even making a penny. Playing music in small stages. Just their drive and their dreams to play on the big stage. We at Weeb 101 have a soft spot for this show. You see, Sid was in a college band and he had similar dreams. He was inspired by people like Bonham and Ultric. And well, me, my guitar is right over there and it has been untouched since my early band days where I just got past the first lesson of guitar. And then we have Audi. That's all. He likes, Audi likes lo-fi hip-hop beats to relax to. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all like Nujabis. It's just that Audi has no musical skill whatsoever. Unlike... The anime builds on the manga beautifully. Despite the questionable grammar and the accented English, the show is actually mesmerizing. The music seems like a tribute to rock and roll. It fits the band perfectly. The music changes as they grow. And Koyuki's character development is also great because he starts out as a nobody with no goals in life and ends up playing music on the big stage. Even relationships play a very important role. Each of these members have unique personalities and watching them come together and interact with each other is a treat. Even the relationship between Koyuki and Maho is very interesting. It's very innocent and naive. It kind of reminds us of Bakuman. The show also gives you a very good description of a live music culture. Not only from the performer's point of view, which they do show with playing on the big stage. But more importantly, they talk about how the people feel. Feeling the music flow through your body. Rock it out in the crowd. Every beat touches your heart. Like the silence in the air during a guitar solo. And the audience cheering and singing along with the chorus. It's one of the best feelings. Sid sometimes wishes he was born in the 60s so he could attend festivals like Monterey Pop and Woodstock. Sid doesn't realize he'll still be stuck in India at that time. The show is filled with music references. Koyuki seems to be playing on a... Les Paul and a Fender Mustang and a lot more. You will recognize these guitars, but 
not the names. Also, we see him play Smoke on the Water, like much of us did when we first got our guitars. In me too. I totally, I did. I, I could play Smoke on the Water. The Beatles are an important part of the story. Beck wants to be like the Beatles in their early life before they find their own direction. And there are also a lot of references to a couple of underrated music artists like uh, Freddie Mercury, uh, Jim Morrison or Kurt Cobain. No, nobody knows those guys. The album art is the best part of the show. It really shows Saku Ishii's love for music. It references popular albums from different artists like uh, Dylan, Metallica, Radiohead, Jimi Hendrix, Beastie Boys, The Fugees and more. We honestly cannot cover everything over here and this video is getting too long and I've been talking about this for the last half an hour. So if you would like to see more, uh, let us know in the comments down below and we will make another video with the music references in Beck. And that's it for this episode. So Beck, read or watch or not. Read what one says read and then watch. So like, share, follow and we shall be back next week with another anime that we might not recommend.